Hello everyone. So today we are going to cover longest harmonious subsequence. So we are given with an input of integer array norms and we have to return the longest harmonious subsequence length. So what is a harmonious subsequence or harmonious array? Harmonious array is the difference between its maximum value and its minimum value is exactly 1. So the subsequence of array is a sequence that can be derived from the array by deleting some or no elements without changing the order of remaining elements. So let's see this with an example. So what does the problem statement say? The array is longest harmonious array if the maximum difference between the numbers are 1. So if the difference has to be 1, then the elements should be if a number is there in the array, the other number should be either n minus 1 or n plus 1. In that case only the difference will be 1 or 0. Otherwise, the difference will be more than 1 or less than 0. So in this case, we should have an array with numbers n. Numbers consist of n, n minus 1 and n plus 1. So consider our example nums here. So Let's start writing the numbers. If you consider 1, it has 2. That is the difference between 2 and 1 is 1. And again, it has one more 2 and one more 2. And then nothing else because if you include 3, the difference between 2 and 3 will be 1. But the difference between 3 and 1 will be 2. So in that case, we can have an array of 1, 2, 2 and 2. So let's find whether we can form any more arrays from this. So let's consider 3. From 3 if you see the difference between 3 and 2 is 1 and again 2 and 2 is 0. You can't include 5 because the difference will go more than 1. Again there is one more 2 and 2 and 3 the difference is 1. So let's write down another array 3, 2, 2, 2 and 3. So now the size of our first array is and size of our second array is 5. In that case, our output is going to be 5 because we need the longest harmonious subsequence. So here we are going to discuss three different solutions for the same problem and why we are moving to one solution to other. So let's start with discussing the brute force. So here in our brute force, we are going to have a pointer i starting from index 0 and have another pointer j that is going to cover the rest of the elements than i. So for every iteration, i and j moves until they cover every other element and it is going to have a pointer count to keep track of the size of the harmonious subsequence and we also have going to have a variable result that updates every time the maximum count we have got from the iteration. So this algorithm will take order of n square time complexity. So how to make it in a better way? So if you think of array, you can think of other technique which is sorting. So here in sorting, we're going to sort our given array so that everything will be in ascending order. So we just need to check if a sequence is consisting of n and n plus 1 alone. So in that case, we'll be having our pointer i pointing at our first position and iterate through the complete array every time to find an array of some size which satisfies the harmonious subsequence. If it finds an array, then it moves its pointer i to the next position. From there, it is going to find the length of a harmonious subsequence array. And every time the pointer moves and calculate a new size and update the result. So once all the iteration is completed, the maximum result will be returned as our output. Again, this algorithm is going to cause us time complexity of big O of n log n. So this log n comes because of the sorting process. So this is quite an optimal solution, but how to still make it to order of n time complexity? So to do that, we are going to get the help of hash map. So we are going to use hash map to keep track of occurrence of each element 
in the given array. So once we calculated the occurrence, we can find which element is n plus 1 than the current element. And if we found that the array is going to consist of only element that is n and n plus 1, we can easily calculate the size using hash map and finally arrive at an optimal solution. So let's go for a dry run how we are going to do it. So we are going to iterate through our array using a pointer i and check the occurrence of that element. For example, we have our pointer i at 1 and we're going to enter the value 1 as key and number of occurrence of that number in the array as value. So 1 has occurred only once. And the pointer now moves to 3. Now we have found a 3 which is new. So we are going to put that to our hash map and put the count of 3 as 1. So now the pointer moves to 2. Now 2 is another new element. So let's update our hash map the 2 as key and occurrence of 2 as 1. And finally the pointer moves to 3. And now we have 3 already exist in our table. So we are going to update the occurrence instead of adding that element again to the hash map. So now we have updated our table or hash map. We are going to iterate through the map to find if it forms any harmonious subsequence. So let's iterate the map. So now we are going to iterate and our pointer is going to be at the first key. It is, our first key is 1. It is going to check whether key plus 1 is exist in the hash map. If you see our hash map has key plus 1 that is 1 plus 1 2 already present as a key in the hash map. So in this case we can form an array of size 1 and the size which is in n plus 1. So let's write we are going to form our first contiguous array of size 1 plus 1. So now it is moving on to our second element 3 and checking whether 3 plus 1 present in the array. No, 3 plus 1 is not present. So now it is moving on to the third element 2 that is 2 plus 1 present in the array. Yes, 2 plus 1, 3 is present in the array. It has It is of size 2. So in this case, you can form another contiguous, sorry, another harmonious top sequence which is of size 1 plus 2. So now our result is going to check which is the higher value, whether 1 plus 1 or 1 plus 2. 1 plus 2 is clearly higher value so our harmonious subsequence is going to be consisting of 3s and 2s of size 3. So this is going to be our output. As we discussed I am going to have a hash map to hold of the occurrences of the integers present in the array. Now I'm going to add all my numbers and its occurrence to the map. So once done, I'm going to iterate maps key set. And check if the map consists of key plus one value. If the map contains, then I'm gonna declare a variable count and result. And gonna put count is equal to finally we simply return count. We don't need this variable again. So let's run.
so this algorithm actually runs in order of n time as we are iterating the numbers in one pass so thanks for watching thank you